I am Bill Rochelle, Editor-at-Large for American Bankruptcy Institute. In today's installment of Rochelle's Daily Wire Video Edition, I want to feature the story that appears on the ABI website in my column today, March 6. This story and the underlying case tell you pretty much everything you have to know about the dysfunction and, I think, cruelty that is entailed in our system with respect to the challenges that people face in discharging student loans. The lady in question was unemployed and, I think, virtually unemployable. In 1991, she had taken down $21,000 in student loans to get her undergraduate degree. Over the ensuing year, she had, in fact, made 100 monthly payments and had paid off almost $30,000. In other words, she had paid some 40% more than the principal balance of her loans. But with interest, the loans by the time of bankruptcy had grown to about $74,000. Yes, that's right. She had paid almost 30. The original loans were about $20,000 but she was left years later with $74,000 in loans. Now, being unemployed, she filed a Chapter 7 petition pro se. She did succeed in getting a discharge of her other debts, but she tried, again pro se, to discharge the student loans, but of course, she lost. The good fortune of this lady arrived when she was able to get pro bono counsel in the person of William Barrett, from Chicago who represented this unfortunate lady pro se. Mr. Barrett proceeded to produce a mountain of evidence which is unfortunately required for discharging student loans and a bankruptcy judge Schmetterer in Chicago wrote a beautiful opinion discharging those student loans because there was no hope that this lady would ever earn anything to uh, pay off those student loans. So what's the bottom line? For me, the bottom line is this. People like this unfortunate debtor, pro se, are never going to get a discharge of student loans. In her case, it demonstrates that unless you have someone who is willing to offer his or her counsel services for free, the debtor is never going to escape those loans. Congress really needs to think about the entire process and the standards for discharging student loans from top to bottom. Because it shouldn't be that you have to get pro bono counsel before you can uh, discharge student loans. And here's the bottom line. Mr. Barrett told ABI that they ended up spending more in attorney's time than the $74,000 that was discharged. And that by itself tells you that there's something wrong with the system that needs to be fixed. Well, as I said, I'm Bill Rochelle. I will be back same time next week with something interesting that has occurred in the world of bankruptcy law. Until then, be well and enjoy the spring.